And in 1859, my great grandfather, Sait Sapuji Sapariwala, built BVS school in Karachi. This was the first one of only our community, the Parsi community. And then the BVS ran on till 1947 when Kaide Azam requested us to open our doors to other communities so that the Muslim children would get the benefit of good school. My father was the chairman at that time of the school managing committee. So he agreed to Kaide Azam's because Kaide Azam said that after five years you can have your school back. Within the five years we'll try to establish schools in different localities. After five years, my father felt it's a torture to throw these 600 children out. So they refuted the statement and they carried on. There is a laid down in the constitution that the chairman should be a Sopariwala, vice chairman should be a Sopariwala, and the treasurer should be a Sopariwala. It becomes a family school and people put their heart and soul in it to work for the school. The school was on the Freya Street. It was in a bungalow where we were living and my grandfather gave away his bungalow to the school. But then it was found too small. So he took this plot on the Abdul Harun Road and he built the ground floor and the first floor and then later on, second floor. I was the first one to join the school and start teaching in the senior classes. There was no woman teacher then at all. I was the first lady teacher to teach in the BVS school. I didn't join as a teacher. I joined there to just train the children up in elocution, speeching, defamation contests, etc. Then when the, one of the English teachers was sent to England for a course, there was a vacancy which I filled in just temporarily. The principal asked my father to allow me to teach in the... and my father said, no, not in a boys' school. But then the principal insisted that it's only a matter of short time. Papa agreed. The fees used to be one rupee for the affluent people, eight annas for the others and four annas still for the students who couldn't afford much. There was no system of this admission test taken and qualifying or not qualifying because we would, it would take anybody and everybody that came. In 1972, the principal of our school was asked to become the chairman of the Board of Secondary Education. So he had to leave overnight and I was just a teacher and I said, and a woman. And they said, no, you got to, there's no other go. So the keys were handed over to me and the next two whole month, everything I would just ring up the board. And through their guidance, I managed the school beautifully for another 32 years. School teachers are 72 and the students were 10, 15, 10, 15 in each classes. And then it built up to 30 because then we started getting Muslim teachers too. It's, being a boys' school it has always had naughty children. I still remember there was a geography period when uh, the teacher would ask the boys to come up to the map of the world and find out. So the teacher asked the boys, where is Cairo? One boy came up to the board and he didn't know where he was horrible in geography. So he told everybody, he said, I'll start from right from polar region and I'll come down whenever I'm at that point, just <clears throat> and I'll understand and point it out. So these boys wanted to play a trick and they didn't stop at all. He came around and he told them, he said, I've come to a Atlantic Ocean now, what do I do? And the principal took the cane and walloped him for because he understood that this was a joke. I still remember there was a boy, one of my students came up to say that I would have lost BVS had it not been for Mrs. Mystery. His father had some monetary difficulty and he lost all his money. And he wanted his son to be taken away from our school. And by the way, I asked him, but why are you doing it? Any particular, and he broke down and said that I've come to a stage when I'm not able to even feed my family. So I told him, all right, I'll take care of him. And I went on paying his fees till he graduated. One of my students, his name was Aurangzeb, but he was so naughty. He used to come to school. He would get down from his, the school van, go over to Jangir Park, which is next to the school, play cricket down there till one o'clock, come back, sit in the van and go home. So one day I followed him. I took my car, I went there. I caught him by the collar, gave him thrashing on the spot there and brought him back to school. I think I was always a born, born teacher because I wanted to do teaching. I would take a servants' children and make them sit down and write ABC numbers, sums. It was sort of in me an urge to teach. 
people don't take to teaching because it is supposed to be a, an ordinary job. They don't understand that we frame the minds of the children and we create good citizens for the future.